Uh, hi, uh, my name is Richard, I'm from Have Bike. Um, today we're going to show you how to correctly use the uh, part tool chain checker and to check for the wear on your chain and the appropriate intervals to replace it. And we're going to be using the part tool CC 3.2 chain checker with 0.5% and 0.75% wear. Right, we're now going to check this chain with the 0.5% of the chain checking tool. So you want to find the inner plate of the chain. So you've got the bigger plate there and you've got the smaller plate there. So hook it in to the smaller plate of the chain. If it doesn't go in at all, the chain is not worn. Right, we're now going to test this chain with the part tool 0.5% bit of the chain checker and also the 0.75% bit of the chain checker. So on the chain you'll see there'll be a smaller bit of a link and a bigger bit of a link. What you want to do, what's what part recommends, is to test it on the smaller part of the chain link. So we'll try the 0.5% one first, hook it into the top, bring it down. As you can see this one fits in quite easily, 0.5%. We're now going to test it on the 0.75%. Same thing, drop it into the smaller part of the chain link, bring it down, and that's not going in at all. Right, at this interval, uh, this chain is worn between 0.5 and 0.75%. Now, parts would do recommend if you are running 11 and 12 speed chains, they should be replaced on this interval. However, if you have an 8, 9, or 10 speed chain, you should be okay to keep these uh, with appropriate testing of the cassette on the back um, just to make sure it's not skipping. Right, we're now going to check this chain with the uh, chain checker on the 0.5 and the 0.75. So what you want to do is just find the um, inner plate of the chain so you can see that's the inner link and this is the outer link so just find the smaller one hook the chain tool into the chain bring it down and it's pulls in very easily there now we're going to check it on the 0.75 again onto the smaller link of the chain and just pulls in again and this one in particular has a bit of movement left and right so the yeah, identifier that this chain and this cassette uh, would need to be replaced, uh, and depending on uh, which gear and which bucket on the front um, is worn, it might also need to be replaced as well.